Rockstars, Eric Andres, your guitar sage here today to show you four tricks that you can do with a Les Paul. And so what I mean by tricks is I mean utilizing the different types of pickups, utilizing the uh, tone switch and the tone knobs to come up with four really useful tricks uh, to contour your sound without using pedals or or uh, overdrive or anything like that. Now, obviously, uh, I'm using my amp and I've got the overdrive happening with that. Actually, I am going through a pedal right now, but uh, meaning the four tricks that I'm showing you here, you don't have to go back and forth between different pedals. I'm just sitting with one tone right now and all of that was happening with the guitar itself. So. Um, so let's talk about that. So the four things that I'm going to be covering are what I call woman tone. You've heard that before. It's the famous Eric Clapton tone. Uh, kill switch. Uh, let's see. What I call uh, clean pickup one, dirty pickup two, and volume cutback. Okay. Now let's start with woman tone. Okay. And basically everything that we're going to be doing here is a combination of picking different pickups messing with the volume, messing with the tone, because you can do so much with this. Uh, a lot of pros do this when they're on stage and they need to clean up a part or whatever, they're just cutting back the volume instead of hitting a different pedal or something like that, okay? But we're gonna start with woman tone first. So you've probably heard this, uh, this before. You've definitely heard the sound before, but you've probably, uh, you know, maybe you've heard it as the woman tone. Um, it was made famous by Eric Clapton. A ton of people use it. Uh, so it was just happened to, to be that he made it famous. But this sound that goes... It's that real kind of nasally... As opposed to just sitting here in the bridge pickup. That's the classic rock and roll, uh, you know, sound that we're used to, that lead. But here, we got that really great nasally sound. So it's got that kind of sound to it, right? That that uh, uh, nasally type of sound. And really, the only thing you got to do for that, you could do uh, a number of, uh, a number of things. But really, you're going to be in the rhythm pickup. Okay, you're going to be in the neck pickup. And after that, you can still turn down the tone for that specific pickup. So the way it works is, this is volume and tone for the bridge. Okay, so just think about. Uh, I guess you could think about like looking at the guitar in this way. Uh, this pickup's further away from you from this angle, so this this volume and tone are further away from you. Uh, the ones that are closer to you are going to be this pickup that's a little bit closer to you. That's going to be the neck, okay? And so what we did here is by switching, you know, with the Les Paul, the treble takes the bridge pickup, rhythm takes the neck pickup, and in between takes both pickups, combo of both of them. But we want to be all the way into the rhythm slot here. I've got this cranked up on 10. I'm running through an OCD right now, by the way, OCD distortion, uh, full tone. And then I can take this tone knob, and you can hear without it, it sounds like this. Still pretty darn cool. But like I like to put this on about a five. Has a really cool sound to it. That so that's what we call the woman tone. Uh, technically, you could do it on the treble pickup. You'd have to cut your your tone way back. So it's got that really cool sound to it. But really, the rhythm uh, pickup is going to be what you're looking for. Okay, the kill switch trick. Uh, this was made uh, probably most famous by Eddie Van Halen but a lot of people use it. And it's this idea of going, um, 
if we were playing a lick, he would do something like, um, let's get some nice, uh, real crazy overdrive on this here. Might be a little much on the overdrive there, but... You do some really cool tricks with this, especially when you're standing right in front of a speaker and it's feeding back and it's driving that guitar sound. This just goes on and on. You can really have some fun with it. Um, so you can use this for individual notes while you play. You can do all sorts of fun stuff like that or chords. And so in order to do this kill trick switch, basically what you need to do is you need to turn one of your volume knobs off, okay? Uh, preferably not this one. I don't know why that knob's coming off. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> uh, so what I like to do is I like to kill the neck pickup by turning that volume all the way down, turn it to zero. Now, when it's in the middle position, we don't hear anything. In the rhythm position, we don't hear anything, but we do in the treble position. So watch this. So. And of course you can do some fun things. Some fun things like that. Um, fun harmonics and what have you to, to bring that sound out more. Uh, this lick is best done when you're playing a solo. kind of throw it in there as you're playing. Uh, really great when you have a note that you're hanging on to and you want to just give it some excitement, you know. Don't forget about these tricks. I think as guitar players sometimes what we do is we, we, we learn these tricks and we use them a bunch right in the beginning and then we forget about them because we want to be mature and we want to not stick to the, the cliches and the tricks, but then we never pull them out of the bag. People want to see the tricks, so use them, you know. By the way, uh, we're going to be doing three and four here. Listen, my friends, if you're learning something from this video, please, right now, hit like and subscribe. You can see those on your screen there, my friends. All right, so number three uh, is what I call clean pickup one, dirty pickup two. You can do this either way, but the, the concept is, let's say we have uh, pickup one, the bridge pickup, let's say we have that wide open. So it's on 10, I got the volume on 10. Uh, what I like to do, especially for this trick, is I make I like to make sure the tone is on 10 for the clean pickup, which in this case here is gonna be the neck. So put that on 10 because it tends to be a little bit darker anyhow. Then with your volume, cut it back instead of 10, put it on say like four, okay? So now you've got this super overdriven guitar in this one position, right? <laughs> Right? Now, the only thing I need to do, no pedal switching, nothing. Here I go. Now I'm in the bridge pickup, and now... Just throwing on a little bit of reverb here, that's all. I'm not changing the tone at all. Look, I'm not touching any pedals, I just do this, and I got Easy enough, right? So that's what I call clean pickup one, dirty pickup two. You can switch them back and forth, doesn't matter, but it's a great little trick. And lastly, my friends, is what I call just volume cutback. And so I do this a lot on pickup one on the bridge pickup and it's when I'm just if I'm playing live and I'm playing a song maybe a melon camp tune or something that maybe doesn't have as much overdrive as say um, I don't know another tune say a Zeppelin tune or something like that um, then instead of switching pedals 
turning the overdrive on my amp down or something like that. I'm just gonna cut the volume back. And you'd be surprised at just how amazing the guitar can sound just by cutting it back. So we got this nice rock sound, right? This heavy, heavy metal, heavy, hard rock sound. Now, if I wanted to clean that up, the only thing I need to do is back that up to about a seven, you know, and we got. I'm gonna take the reverb off. So you get that lesser overdriven sound as opposed to So it's just a great way to, while you're playing, you know, bringing it down, uh, you know, a myriad of tunes where this happens, where the bridge comes down and what have you, just pull that back a little bit. The sound is going to be great on the Les Paul, just because of the, uh, the capacity of the pots and just the whole construction of the whole nine yards is just well thought out. Maybe it wasn't well thought out. Maybe they just threw the parts in there and it just turned out really well. I don't think that's probably the case, but nonetheless, Les Pauls are really diverse for that sort of thing. So use your volume, use your tone, and see if you can't come up with some great bits and pieces, because I found that you can do just so much with this guitar. I just love it. All right, my friends, hey, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. Share this video too, my friends, if you've learned something here today. I have so much free stuff for you, it's uncanny. I swear to you. First off, free courses at yourguitarsage.com slash 30. I swear it's free. It's out of the thousands of lessons that I've taught online, and I've taught thousands of one-on-one -on -one lessons, but out of all those lessons and more than 30 years of playing, I created a course that is the top 30 lessons that every guitar player on earth should know before they go forward and do anything, okay? It includes fretting. It includes... Uh, picking, a, sp a specific picking technique, strumming, uh, some basic music theory, uh, a myriad of things that you've got to have in order to build a great guitar foundation. So many guitar players, they think they don't have the talent. Uh, I don't believe in talent. I believe in practice. Watch my video on talent versus practice. Um, I don't believe in, in talent. I believe in practice because I've never seen somebody quote unquote talented like a, a prodigy or something really if they weren't, if they didn't practice, I've never seen them excel. But I've seen people who were terrible at first, and because they practiced, they became amazing. So don't believe into that lie. Unless you want to stop playing guitar, then believe in talent. All right, my friends. Uh, so get your get your free course there. I'm on YouTube. Uh, of course, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I'm on uh, Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on all those places there, and I love to answer questions. So please hit me up at those places. Join me there. I give away thousands of dollars worth of guitars, gear etc. every single month. Every single month. Go to yourguitarstage.com slash live. Sign up for my live broadcast. That's where I give away so much stuff as well as other bits and pieces. We have contests going all the time. Okay, So make sure you check that out, yourguitarstage.com slash live. Please let me know how I can help. Leave your comments below. Are there any tricks that I missed in regards to the Les Paul? and tone and what have you, please leave those comments below. Leave a nice engaging uh, question if you have for me and I will answer it. All right, my friends, as always, be kind to all beings. Don't trust the man and practice your guitar. I'll see you in the next video.